Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I am officially a Roadmaster. i uh, going to throw in this last head-to-head -head seasons collectible and uh, finish this bad boy up. You guys saw the four MVP sets I did, the, the Giants, Falcons, Titans, and Patriots, along with the dual style, and now I'm going to insert the last head-to-head -head seasons collectible I need, get my 100k coins, the Roadmaster collectible, and the Earl Thomas, which I'm debating on. I'm probably going to hold on to him for a little while here because the plan is to pick up Steve Atwater or uh, Ed Reed as the free safety that I'm going to use. But if I sell the Earl Thomas, I won't have enough for either of them. So for now, I'm probably just going to hold on to him and use him. But as you can see, I was able to get to 1 million coins before Roadmaster and picked up the card that I've been wanting for ever since it came out. And that would be the Charles Woodson uh, flashback 97 overall has now been put in as the number one corner. Cromarty and Revis now the two and three. And Dick Lane in at uh, the backup corner. I still have Vontae Davis, but I think I'm going to sell him and explore some other options at corner, even though Vontae Davis has been is just a baller. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to hold on to him. Or I don't know. I don't know. I might sell him. I might hold on to him, but going to throw in this Earl Thomas. You have Devin McCourty. He was only 20k, so uh, he was a good substitution since I sold my uh, free safety Charles Woodson because uh, I don't really want to run two Charles Woodsons. Uh, I'm willing to run the two Will Forks at D-Tackles because a lot of the time I only have three D-Tackles out there, or three linemen out there, so that doesn't matter. But for now, Earl Thomas, welcome to the lineup, and I'm back to a 92 overall, so... This is literally the no-fly zone. All right, let's be real here. It could be better, obviously, but I think this is a pretty darn good no-fly zone, if I do say my, so myself. Uh, thinking about replacing Cam Chancellor with uh, Bernard Pollard, but people tell me his catching is really low, so I got to check out that uh, because I like Pollard's zone is better, but... Uh, there's a look at my offense. I'll be doing like a full team update and explaining a few things, but I want to see if I put Brady in. Does this bump me up to a 93? Yes, it does. So having Tom Brady in gives me a 93 overall. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, and my team, honestly, is not the greatest team. So actually not that hard to get to a 93 overall. Uh, but I'm going to keep Vic in there. I've been rolling through Vic with Vic in my... Uh, quarterback slot I've been doing some good things with him but uh, this is the reason that I was able to get uh, those head-to-head -head season collectibles in one go through I went nine and one uh, absolutely just dominated people uh, that game against the almighty QC was probably the best game of Madden ultimate team head-to-head -head I've played uh, in Madden 15 uh, we just we played some really good defense and he got up 14-10 with, uh, I think, 30 seconds to go, and then Devin Hester took it to the house. Uh, my first return kick in Madden uh, 15 and head-to-head, -head, uh, and Hester did it at the most clutch time. Uh, OG Maz XO, uh, we disconnected, but I'm pretty sure I would have lost that. It was down 20. It would have been 21-7, and then we DC'd, and I got the loss, rightfully, because I was losing. Um, the 304 guy just quit. We just literally got in the game. I got a deep throw to Calvin, and then the dude just quit. Uh, and that that's how I got a 0-0 win. But Photo, uh, uh, he fumbled the opening kickoff and then quit. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. He caught it at the 1 and called for a fair catch, and he was down at the 1, so he rage quit. Uh, but I put up some nice points <laughs> against some of these people. I uh, had to put it up against practice squad because he was scoring on me like crazy. Kickin's Killers um, was pretty darn easy to score on. Like, I was scoring without even trying. Uh, one of those guys, I think Primal Harbor 2, maybe, or Benjamin. I don't know. One of them, I think, was being a dick, so I just decided to run up the score. Uh, Dribble Squad, that 17 to nothing, he quit. And I think God Squad quit, too. Um... But you can see my record sucks because I let someone play the other seasons, or the last season. That's why I have a demotion. Uh, I let them play my last season, whatever it was, uh, all mat, or all pro second string, because uh, I was hoping he would do good and maybe uh, get me some legacy collectibles. But actually, out of the first batch pack that I got out of this, 
I actually got a Legacy collectible from Mutt Master, uh, which is unreal out of the first one. Only need nine or seven more, but I mean, it was clutch. I got the Ravens one. I did the solo. Probably going to sell the Brian Billick, but yeah, got these still to go. Uh, Mutt Master I'm going to slow down on because head-to-head is kind of AIDS, and it's really annoying because there's a lot of cheesers and crap, but I'm still going to give it a go, uh, play it. Still try to get Mutt Master, but we'll see when I get that. Uh, it's one mil coin sitting and waiting for me uh, whenever I actually get it. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you an update, let you guys know I got Roadmaster. Holding on to that Earl Thomas for now, that's a pretty little thing right there. Woodson and Revis, Earl Thomas, Cam Chance, and Keekly. Uh, as soon as I get the coins, I'm going to pick up Atwater first, I think, or Reed, whichever one, and then I'm going to pick up the Legend Revis. So just keep in mind, those are going to be my next two purchases, uh, major purchases. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.